Hello, ladies. Hey, how's it going? My name's Juliet. And I just thought I'd let you know a little bit about me before I start. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hopefully I'll meet you all more in the cafe afterwards. <laughs> um, I'm from Dunedin. Um, and I've grown up there. Um, I was raised in a Christian family. I've always loved Jesus. Um, I loved going to church. I loved um, worship. And when I finished high school, I ended up moving to Christchurch to study performing arts, which led me to this church. I remember when I first started coming to this church, they would talk so passionately about Jesus, and I loved him, but I could sense that there was something missing. And they would talk about hearing the voice of the Lord, like Tans just did. And I, I didn't realize that God could talk to us. I didn't realize he wanted to talk to us. And um, it started a, a journey in my prayer life for over about six months of just, Lord, I want to know your voice. Would you speak to me? I want to know your voice, please. <laughs> Is it possible? <laughs> Only if you want to. <laughs> I understand if you don't. <laughs> um, and then I think in the October school holidays, I took a bus home to Christchurch and I didn't really have many friends, like good solid friends in Christchurch at the time. And and I was looking forward to going home and seeing all my friends. And the Lord said, you're not going home. Christchurch is your home. I started crying because I didn't like Christchurch. <laughs> and then I started crying because I realized I heard the voice of the Lord for the first time. And it, it broke me. It broke me to my core because I realized the Lord wanted to talk to me. I realized the Lord wanted to have a personal, living, breathing relationship with me. This man that I'd loved reading about in books my whole life really did love me, not just enough to die on the cross and what a miracle that was to forgive me of my sins, but he wanted to live with me today. Um, and that is a huge part of my testimony that the Lord wants to have a living, breathing relationship with me and he wants to do the same with you. I finally got to experience what it talks about, that Bible verse that you learn in kids' church, John three sixteen, for up. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. I got to have a taste of that eternal life and I'm getting to have a taste of eternal life today. <laughs> eternal means, you know, not just like it never ends, it never stops, it goes on forever and ever. And as I got to know Holy Spirit in this personal way, and I still am, he's revealed to me who I am in him. And it's been a journey and it still is. Even though I've loved the Lord the whole life, my whole life, I, I've been through things. You know, we all go through things. Um, I actually was struggling with a really severe eating disorder when I first heard the Lord's voice. And through reading His Word and spending time with Him, He set me free and let me know my true identity in Him, that He sees me as valuable and worthy. <laughs> I always thought that I loved people so much. And I do, but the Lord said, how can you love other people if you don't love yourself? I think as women, we pride ourselves on being able to love other people, but you can only love other people to the fullness of knowing your own worth and who you are, who you are in God. <laughs> he set me free from that. Um, there's so many things in my life that I thought were just like normal, which I guess they are in the world, you know, yeah, insecurities, uh, busyness, a busy mind. I remember one day the Holy Spirit encountered me and all of a sudden I had a clear mind. There was a stillness. There wasn't a racing, a racing going on thinking of this, this and that and that and that and what does this person think and that person think. There was a complete stillness. The Lord wants to bring a peace into our minds. He's done it for me and I know he can do it for you. <laughs> He's so good. <laughs> I'm, I used to be severely dis dyslexic and there was one night where I was just hungry for the Lord. Um, if there's one thing I can encourage you tonight is to be hungry for the Lord. He loves hunger. I'm always hungry for the Lord and getting to know Him more because I'm in a relationship with Him. <laughs> I love Him and He loves me. <laughs> anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, one night um, there, was an, uh, there was some woman on the stage and I didn't know what was going on, but I could tell that the Holy Spirit was there because I have a relationship with the Lord, so I know what the Holy Spirit moving looks like. And I was so desperate, so I ran up and I fell to the stage. And instantly I saw heaven. I know this sounds crazy. I know this sounds wacky, but I saw heaven. And the picture that I saw was actually in Revelation 5, 
four or five. <laughs> um, it was a big circle of everyone worshipping the Lamb of God in the centre. It was the most supernatural thing I've ever seen. I was in awe. I was so aware of how full of sin I was, but how loved I was. And it was this balance. It was crazy. And first off, I was like, oh my goodness, those people weren't lying when they talked about seeing these things. <laughs> you know, Sometimes it can seem a little bit crazy, <laughs> but it's real. <laughs> um, it's real. I want to tell you it's real. And anyway, that night I went home and I actually couldn't speak. I was in awe of the Lord. And I opened my Bible and it fell on Revelation um, in that book in Revelation, that scripture. And I, I am, or I was, I was severely dyslexic and I actually found it really hard to read my Bible. And for the first time I opened my Bible and it was crystal clear. It was a picture book. You know, um, I know I haven't gone through super deep stuff, but I know that the Lord even cares about the little things. <laughs> he cares about setting me free from my dyslexia. He cares about how I look at myself. He cares about how I love my friends. He cares about a peace in my mind. <laughs> and he wants to do the same for you. And um, there's so much I could talk about of the Lord. I love him so much. I can't wait for what he's going to do tonight. And even we can all get to know him more, including myself. But yeah, so nice to meet you all. I can't wait to meet you more. <laughs> and I'm going to hand over to Kat. <laughs>